Hello and welcome to this demonstration of the Tanberg Model 2T tape recorder from 1956. The Model 2T was uh, essentially Tanberg's second model of the tape recorder. The first one was called logically Model 1 and uh, it was introduced in 1956 with a then brown top cover and subsequently modified, modernized into this version, which is probably one of the later versions of the 2T, with a fairly large speaker grille. Earlier ones were, were narrower. Uh, a tape counter. In fact, the T stands for tape counter, but being a uh, Norwegian, in, in, uh, originally a Norwegian machine, uh, or made in Norway, uh, T doesn't stand for tape counter, it stands for Televerk. Uh, if we go through the functions of this machine, it's very basic, as machines were in those days, because it was very expensive to buy a tape recorder anyway, let alone with, with any, any special features. If we have a power switch, pilot light, three position function, um, function control, play, fast wind, fast rewind, tape counter in the form of a clock, but it actually counts revolutions of the right hand reel, so it's not a true clock in that sense. Uh, we have the volume control over here, microphone input, three position function selector, public address, which means it works as an amplifier, quite simply, playback, and record, and that causes the recording level indicator to light up. It's a green magic eye tube. Uh, there's a bass switch, which basically is the only feature this machine has, apart from basic features, and that's that it, it, it raises the bass uh, response when, when enabled, and that works like a loudness control, basically. That was rather relatively unique to Tanberg in those days. You have a speed selector, uh, and we have a speaker selector, internal, external, both external and internal. So we're going to make a small test recording. So I got to put, I'm going to put a reel of tape on. And as you notice here, when I start pulling the tape through to thread it, the right hand reel turns backwards. Now that's a feature of these Tanbergs uh, from this, this era up into the 1970s, where instead of having proper reel brakes, they use a figure eight drive belt, which causes the reels to turn in opposite directions in stop mode. And that way, they don't need to have any special brakes that need adjustment, they basically just have the ordinary um, ordinary clutches for enabling rewind and rewind mode, so it's, it's, quite, it's quite efficient. Um, here we can, we can wind the tape backwards, uh, forwards, or backwards. Uh, this machine has got a new drive belt, so it winds pretty quickly. We can make a little test recording. I'll plug in a microphone into the microphone input. Uh, put the recording switch in the record position. Notice how this springs back automatically, um, which it does unless I start the tape, then it stays put. And I'll take the microphone, turn the volume up a bit until we get some sort of a response on the magic eye indicator, indicating that there's a reasonable signal level going on here. And I'll just make this short test recording and then stop the tape and wind it back. up a bit until we get some sort of a response on the magic eye indicator indicating that there's a reasonable signal level going on here and I'll just make this short test recording and then stop the tape and wind it back. As I mentioned there are two speeds on this machine and the speed selector is, is slightly unusual on the model too uh, because instead of having being a, a multi position switch like this one what you do is turn the knob slightly to the right, and then to go to the lower speed, one and seven eighths of an inch per second, you push it down. To go back to the higher speed, you turn it to the right and pull it up. And th this arrangement is not very practical, and it was in fact abandoned for the next model, the Model 3, and all the subsequent models. So if we make a recording on the lower speed, as you see, the, the tape turns much, the reels turn much slower, and this speed was actually fantastic in its day, that it was even possible to make a recording at this speed. Um, and uh, but as you can see, this this works fine, and we're going to rewind the tape just to listen to it briefly. This is still the old recording. As you see, the, the tape turns much, the reels turn much slower. And this speed was actually fantastic in its day; that it was even possible to make a recording at this. There we go. So that's our recording. We'll wind the tape out, and that will conclude our demonstration of this Tanberg. Model T, 2T, uh, reel to reel tape recorder from around 1956, possibly slightly later this model because of the yellow top cover 
and the, the counter I would suggest uh, I would guess around 1958 or so. Thank you for watching and goodbye.